Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel and I hope you enjoyed the video. Everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and I am super happy to get back into Jujutsu Kaisen. We are now on episode 13 tomorrow. Seems like a weird episode to put the day tomorrow on. A little bad luck, don't you think? Uh, but it's whatever. Uh, having said that, man, I really, I mean, I'm going right from one to the other. I really enjoyed the last episode. 12 was an excellent episode. I think the best episode they've had so far by far. Obviously, it's a culmination of a lot of the stuff from up to that point. But uh, it really did hit a lot of the points that I thought were important in writing and storytelling and action and anime. And I'm super excited to get 13. Hopefully it's the same way. Um, we're going to just have to see, though, right? There's no way to tell till we watch it. As always, support the original content creators by checking out the links below and on the bumpers to see, you know, how you can support them on Crunchyroll. Or maybe check out some Shonen Jump or get some of the graphic paper from Novelback. Whatever, you know. I don't, mean, I don't have any Jujutsu Kaisen stuff yet back here. It's mostly DBZ, One Piece uh random marvel comic crap um but we are trying to expand and do more and we're also figuring out maybe get a green screen at some point but it's it's up in the air you know what i mean so with that said we're going to go ahead and continue uh with uh the episode 13 and hopefully it'll be a fucking great time i think it will all right it is in there he's dead Cause I punched him in the face. Oh no! Yep. Okay. It's one of the things that I will say that weeklies usually have the issue with that I don't like is recaps. Uh. If you need a recap, absolutely need a recap, go back and watch the end of the last episode, right? I don't know if you're that talented yet, bro. Like, you haven't shown me any reason to believe you could do that. You had enough trouble fighting him, let alone him and somebody else who can, uh... Like, I know he put that hand on his eye and it's supposed to be cool, but it's really just... So he's a sea urchin. Punch the... Is he not going to punch the thing? I don't think he's shown the ability to do that either. Uh, Gross. Why would you think he didn't? Oh, they're kids. They're the ones from last episode at the end. To be fair, that could be considered a strength and a weakness. I consider that a weakness. It's up to you what you do, but there are times when that is a absolutely necessary thing. And that one's rough, though. I will admit, Ch child monsters. Like obviously, their kids turn into monsters. They're not the kids of monsters. Kill me. Once again, sometimes it's a necessary thing, guys. I, I really do believe that. No, he it seems like he might be getting through it. He's in the middle of making that reconciliation. If it were up to me, I'd say you're the fool. Bet it could do what now? Touch the shape of his own soul? Domain expansion. Doesn't this guy have one? He's he should if he's that high. Oh, guess he can't. <laughs> Never mind. Good guy. You made the right choice. You didn't pay.
Hmm. So then he calls Gojo and gets back in, huh? Huh. Now see, this is a perfect example of a build to a death. Or something bad. If you, and if you don't understand why flashbacks, a good flashbacks like that are important. Oh, someone busted it. Oh, he actually got through. That's wild. Right? Is that even possible? Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, except for him. That must not be touched. He told him not to, too. Is that... I might go to the next episode. I warned you! Ah! That there wouldn't be a second time. There's no one in the world more proud and conceited. Only by his pleasure and displeasure... Aside from him, why is he important? Is he his descendant? Then he just fades back. Damn, he fucked him up. I don't. I really don't think he killed him, right? He didn't kill him. He just fucked him up. But he fucked him up. Something's wrong. There you go. You do need that, though. You need cursed energy. Nah, he... It was a decoy, right? Yep. See, that is more expected. Once again, I thought that they would be able to take him, but once again, did not count for domain expansion. Okay, I was like, kill his soul again and again? I, it doesn't actually mean kill. It means, you know, damage irreparably. Why do they have an English song? You hear that, right? It's English. I kind of want to keep going. Is that wild? I'm enjoying myself. I'm really enjoying myself. I have no, I've never felt that besides the last episode and this one. I've never felt the, the want to watch another episode. Do you know what I mean? Some of these I check out to see if they're any good. And they don't always make it past the first couple. Uh, this one, it took a little while. But it finally made it to a place where I'm comfortable calling this a good anime. Before, it's fine. But uh, 12 and 13 really made the series for me. I think that really made a big difference for me. Uh, these are so fun and good. And, and just uh, to watch these last two. And then they're filled with the more emotional depth and grounding. I think that's the most important part that I was lacking in the early sections of Jujutsu Kaisen. Is the grounding of the characters in... Um, in relatability, right? They had backstories and sad backstories, but they didn't feel grounded. They felt like story characters with backstories and not like real people. Nanami's backstory felt like a real backstory. Does that make sense? Same with uh, the, the kid that got killed. His story was r very visceral and real. And not to say that Yuji's isn't, but it really isn't, right? We don't even know about his parents, so it's just not grounded yet. We only know that he lived with his grandfather for a time, that his grandfather passed away and asked him to do a bunch of stuff, which is cool, but it's tough to get it. And as we go, right, we're going to get more grounding in his story. 
the longer he goes, the more his character develops, the more we understand his character in its in its depths, right? And maybe his character will also progress as time goes, right? He progressed from not killing to killing today in this episode or whatever. But uh, the only way to really see is to, to keep watching and see how our relationship with these characters deepens and uh, folds out, right, and becomes better, hopefully. Uh, I am hoping to see more. So, for example, someone who I thought had a better uh, a better kind of back was the chick. I thought hers was kind of decent. Uh, it still was a little light on the grounding, like, of making it feel tangible and relatable to me, but it felt more like a real story, right? Uh, maybe not a relatable story to me, but a real person's story. Anyway, uh, we're going to watch the little Juju stroll at the end. That's soon enough. And then we're going to take a little break and maybe watch a couple more of these, or maybe not. I'm not sure, because also our, uh, our batteries are not doing great, so this might be a break for a little while at least. The meatballs are great. Who made them? It is me, yo. The easy. Not really surprising. Itadori taught me. Why is he under the table? How does he fit under the table? Mm, they all think he's dead still, right? Yeah, they, they learned a lot in that, like, three days they were together. <laughs> However long it was. I taught him so much. I don't even know. Okay, cool. Uh, next time, it looks like we're getting the other school. Awesome. And maybe some more of our classmates. I don't know. What I do know is that that's going to be it for me right now, guys. I really do have to get, uh, you know, going. Let the cameras chill. Let the lights chill out. But I really appreciate you guys watching. You mean... The world to me, everybody who likes, comments, and subscribes. Remember, support the original content creators. Check those links at the bumpers as well as in the description below for info on how to do that as well as how to you know, support us if you feel like it. You can see these little little bad boys over here we just added. This is the first couple episodes we're recording these. Uh, later, they're going to be animated, right? We're going to make them move around and change colors and other crap. But for now, there you go. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys really liked it. I'm going to keep trying to improve the channel, making more great stuff, hopefully, and... Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Max Gray. This has been Reactions of the Next Jujutsu Kaisen. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.